Well, good evening, Pipe Pals. It is I, the old Holy Smoking Pipe Pod, right here. And it's still the Silum season. And tonight I'm smoking a little bit of a Silum's Red. Silum's Red in a red can. Mm hmm. I've tried, um, of course, the uh, Selim's Green, most excellent, and of course my favorite, Selim's Black. So we're still doing the Selim's Season. And here's I, Holy Smoking Pie Padre. Greetings to you. Hmm. Well, I'm enjoying a nice pipe here. And I uh, thought I'd just quickly show you uh, some of the re improvements. Uh, there I am, yours truly. And uh, over here is a, a little sitting corner here. Kind of like on a patio now. They put a nice uh, little patio screen, a little patio roof. The, uh, the actual umbrella that once was there is gone. They just did this about a week ago, and here's a poinsettia from last year. Looks like I might be able to use it again this year. That's a real one. And um, that's my cat's food. Does that just look it's so appealing? Okay. There's some wind chimes there. All right. Hmm. Okay. So you're probably wondering what's going on. Well, I am using tonight for the very first time. Hopefully, it's still recording. Using tonight for the very first time my brand new. This is unbelievable, folks. My iPhone six. I just got the iPhone six just a couple hours ago and I have to tell you that I am absolutely amazed uh, with the iPhone 6 for a couple reasons uh, first of which okay let's see if we can do this here I always kinda don't do this so I want to do it now um, set the settings so here we go now you're saying wait a minute you just set the settings i thought you uh screensaver there we go okay this will all become apparent to you really soon okay so this is the iphone 6 and i'm just going to show you um a little uh Here we go here. Oh, I, nope, haven't done it yet. Haven't done it yet. Hold on a second. Um, I'm going to do a little cutaway here. And I have to remember that uh, hopefully this will work. Okay. All right. There I am there. And uh, greetings again. So this is the iPhone 6 that I just got. I'm using it to film, of course. But this is just a, a delightful little thing that I got. And um, they have the bigger one. This is bigger than the iPhone 5S. And I guess I'll go back and do this again. Um, you know, I'm recording using the iPhone 6. Okay, now I'm back here using the iPhone 6 recording here. I'm going to put this up here. Hopefully that's going to work. Okay, so there we go. Um, so, I hope this is going to work. Um, but I am excited, and I'll tell you why. Um, but first, I need to go get a tamper. I'll be right back. I probably, if you look really closely, kind of right back there, you can see my cat, Snowball. 
I think. Snowball. Yep. There's a little furry thing on the windowsill there. That's snowball. Okay, so. So, um, yeah, today was uh, a pretty good day. I got up to 4.30 and uh, went in and did some uh, CrossFit. Mm -hmm. And um, then I went and said the, the school mass at 8.30. Then um, I drove down and picked up um, some things at the mailbox, and uh, I realized that today was the first day they were going to be selling an iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. I didn't get the 6 Plus. Talk about that a little bit more later. Hmm. Not bad. Um, so I have never in uh, the since the very first iPhone which came out in uh, 2009 is that right well no I take that back the first iPhone came out like in 2006 or 2007 but um, oh, I don't know I take that back hmm really it I can't remember now. Anyway, the bottom line is that uh, I've never... Oh, that's right. That's right. I didn't get an iPhone... Well, that's This is the point I'm trying to make of this little video uh, in the beginning. Is I never got a brand new iPhone on the day they came out. Because I, uh, I don't have the time to s stand in line for hours and hours, or actually days and days. I just don't have time to do that. And so I usually wait until about oh, a month or two, you know, so when I hear the, they've gone on sale that day, I go, yeah, I'll probably get one in about two or three months. Well, it just happened. Kind of blind, blind luck. I um, had, had some extra money. And um, I just stopped in at the right time. It's kind of like when I got the PlayStation 4 a while back. Uh, I walked in to the neighborhood Best Buy, and the guy looked at me and goes, Hey, mister, are you interested in buying a PlayStation 4? And they had a big kiosk, a big special kiosk that day, the opening day of the PlayStation 4. And I mean, again, I thought, well, there's just no way they're going to, because they just don't, you know, have them. You know, you line up for at the Apple store or wherever, and chances are you're not going to get one unless you pre-ordered. And I did not pre-order. This is the other kind of a miracle, amazing thing. And I even kind of kittered around about it with uh, some of the school kids. I said, hey, I've been up since 4.30. You know, the iPhone 6 just came on, uh, came on sale today. And guess what I got? And they were like, oh, you got a new iPhone 6. Oh, that's so cool. I go, no, I got an early start to my day. That's what I got. <laughs> All true. So I walked into the uh, the Verizon store where I you normally have purchased most, most, of, most of my I stuff, I, I, iPhones and iPads in the last uh, year or so. And uh, thinking, well, there's just no way they're going to have an iPhone 6 for sale. I could probably pre-order one. And I was thinking, well, chances are I can just pre-order one and I'll be happy. So anyway, I, want, I was thinking originally getting the, the iPhone Plus 6, 6 Plus. But when I, and again, I, I maybe I'll, I might regret this later. I don't know. The iPhone 6 is certainly bigger than the iPhone 5S, but it's not, obviously it's not as big as the Plus. So I started thinking about it. So I was talking to the guy and he says, well, you know, we can pre-order it, but it won't be here until the end of October. October? And I said, eh, I guess. And he goes, um, he goes, we happen to have one, just one of the iPhone 6s though, but it's 128 gigs you know it's the big one uh, big storage one most, no, most people can't well, don't want that one 
when we got one of those left, you wouldn't be interested in that, would you? And there was a guy right next to me who was just, he was buying like the second and last one. He was like super, super happy. I'm looking at the different cameras, so if I'm looking kind of funny in this video, it's because I'm looking at the other camera. Sorry about that. So I, uh, I said, you, you, you do? And I, and I had a specific color in mind. And he goes, yeah, matter of fact, that's exactly the color it is. You know, and I went, hmm. And I'm seeing this guy over here right, standing right next to me, and he's just super happy with what he's getting. And I said, why are you getting that one instead of the plus? And he goes, hey, the plus is like way too big. How am I going to carry that in my pocket? And I went, yeah, that's right. I, I carry my phone in my pocket. And it's like my, this is, my pocket is like my office. <laughs> you know, I go for a walk or I'm driving around, you know, it's got it. Again, the, the thing about the iPhone that I've, I've enjoyed was its portability. Not so much has a big screen. If I wanted a big screen to watch entertainment things on, you know, I got the iPad mini, which is the next step up as far as I'm concerned. Now, granted, it doesn't have telephonics. I understand that. But actually, you can actually do some third-party apps that can use Wi-Fi and do telephonics, I guess. I guess. So anyway, the bottom line is I, I, I was able to get a brand new, on the very first day of sale, never happened to me before, an iPhone 6, brand new iPhone 6. Just super stoked about that. Mm. Mm. Okay, so, you know, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, and for those of you who are Apple people and can share in my joy, great. And if you're Apple haters out there and you're, you know, don't care about the Apple side of my, my life, then I'm, I, I apologize. I sincerely do. Mm. Well, I want to talk a little bit about the Silum season because I'm still doing that. I'm, I uh, took a drive down today. I've had, this is my third pipe. I had two uh, bowls of Selim's Black, which I absolutely adore. It's, you know, as I've said, uh, a couple of you commented on my, you like the fact that I called it autumn in a tin. It is, for me. The uh, Selim's in the green, which most people thought, uh, I've seen people on tobacco reviews say it's dreadful. Glowing, kind of a tobacco casing, you know, not at all enjoyable. Um, and so, but I liked it. I liked it. And again, it had a hint of coconut, which was kind of like, again, if you watched one of my earlier videos, uh, coconut twist, where I got some uh, uh, twisted flake from Briar Patch and put literally a little dab of uh, all, uh, sorry, coconut oil. Let it sit for a few days, and I thought it was pretty darn good. So, um, anyway, the, the red tin, which is more of a cherry, fruity, uh, Silum's uh, flavor, I, um, I, I, I opened up some of the red lab, probably Sunday, Saturday, maybe. And... I, I'm gonna tell you what, don't don't hate me, folks. But I'm gonna reserve my my review because I'm I just wanna I just I just think I, I need to do that just for a little bit. But I am gonna review Silum's Red, and there's a reason why I'm not gonna say anything right now. But I am smoking Silum's. Tobaccos, uh, I think I'm just going to do that until they all run out. And at the rate I'm going, I'm not saying they're going to run out tomorrow or next week, but they're going to get me through the fall. No doubt about it. I'm going to enjoy my fall. I guess. Um, again, I still have some wonderful things. Uh, you know, Theo Bacchanist introduced me to that Blackwoods Flake, which is, oh, for English, oh, wonderful stuff. There's an interesting quality, though, I will kind of discuss just briefly, that Silum's Red is very unique. Uh, it is the only tobacco that I have encountered thus far that is a 
a combination of, of uh, flake tobacco, flake tobaccos, along with rubbed, ready rubbed uh, shag kind of tobacco. And I remember reading one of the reviews, and one person just absolutely just kind of almost tearing his hair out, going, what in the are they doing? Doesn't make any sense. Again, I'm going to reserve my review until a little bit later date. But if you get a chance to get a, a tin of Sillum's Red, check it out. I, I will say that. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't say that. If you have the money, if you have the time, if you have the inclination, you might find it interesting. And I'd like to know what you think of those dark, uh, those 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 chunky flakes, pieces that are in the ready rubbed. It's just it's a, it's it's intriguing to me. Okay, um, I I I, I got to be honest. Uh, I've been a little bit delinquent on uh, answering some of your comments getting back to some of you. Some of you have said some really nice things as you almost all of you do or even have some really good questions. But I, I got a question from uh, oh gosh I, I hope I didn't uh, I hope I didn't lose the person's name. Uh, uh, a gentleman from Sweden his name is uh, Per Ola a wide grin and um, greetings to you Perola I, uh, I told him I, I'm, I'm a big fan of uh, Andreas Einfeld he's a as he's a doctor in Sweden he's a Swedish doctor he has a, a blog uh, dietdoctor.com and he is just I think an amazing uh, Person, he's a big uh, leader in the uh, LCHF, uh, low carb, high fat, um, our paleo kind of diet uh, movement. He is a he is an MD, um, and he's just an amazing human being. And um, anyway, he has a couple of really interesting videos. He likes to do more interviews than actually talk himself, although he has this really uh, distinguished, uh, deep voice, and I, I can't even begin to. You know, uh, Andrus Einfeld. You know, he just—he just sounds so Swedish, and he's just, uh, just a, a very um, striking um, a man, a human being, and just a very knowledgeable and just awesome person. But uh, Perola was um, I stumbled upon my videos. I, I feel sorry for him, <laughs> but um, he was uh, asking me a question. Um, and by the way, oh, somebody asked me, hey, where's your uh, Dunhill lighter? Well, here, here it is. And I still have my Dunhill lighter, still love my little Dunhill lighter. I haven't, uh, by the way, I have not had the occasion or the inclination to fire up some of those beautifully polished pipes. I, I just... There's something in me, I just want to keep them nice and pristine and in the cabinet. But as our, one of our dear illustrious friends says, they're not for sitting, they're for smoking. I think you know who I'm talking about. Chris, if you're out there, good to see you. Glad to see your things are getting a lot better for you. Um, well, this is a boot shook in. I didn't, I didn't do the, the housekeeping. There we go. Boot shook in, along with the Silum's Red. Um, but um, but uh, Perola asked a very good question. He said, "Well, you're into health," He's, and he he indicated that he was also into health as well. And questioned, you know, how maybe we would be able to somehow justify uh, guys who are into health and fitness, but occasionally smoking a, a pipe. That's a good question. And again, I there are other people who have answered this question. Some people have even, uh, you know, wanted to talk about the, you know, the addiction issue. Uh, some people even talk about the sinfulness issue, perhaps. 
Um, but anyway, I, I have to say, I mean, he, and Parola says that, you know, he, uh, he just finds it pipe smoking. I think he's kind of also new to the hobby as well. So maybe you can make a video and introduce yourself to all of us. I think it'd be a, a treat to get to, get to know you digitally there. Um, but he says he really finds that smoking a pipe occasionally is a real source of, of calming and uh, it makes him calm and it's peaceful and, and serene and I, and I think uh, that's exactly true for me and I think most people I, I, I don't know of anybody who smokes a pipe and you know it's like grinding their teeth you know and just you know, angry and mad and I don't think I've ever met any angry pipe people I might have met some people that might seem a little, maybe a little introverted or kind of maybe a little grumpy. You know, there's maybe one or two that I could think of now that comes to mind. I'm not going to mention any names. Maybe I'm one of them. I don't know. Especially if I smoke that Honda Bookshop. Matches 860. You know what I'm talking about. You know, I like Honda Bookshop. In fact, uh, I have that little remnant that uh, smells like little road apples. I, 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 I'm going to go back and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to smoke that. I, I want to know what that's going to be like. It's probably going to be so stout that um, I'll probably go into a nicotine coma or something, but that's okay. What a way to go. But anyway, getting back to Perola's, you know, comment and, and idea uh, and just trying to not give an answer, but just just kind of share my thoughts and feelings on that. Um, as, as a person who, you know, still is into fitness and, and uh, health and trying to, to get well. And, you know, I think if, if pipe smoking had been a problem for me, it, it would have certainly been something years ago. Um, I, I do know what addictions are firsthand, and I can tell you. There are just some things that I just need to pretty much stay away from. Um, and, and I will tell you this, um, as I look back on my life as a young person, as a young adult, you know, middle years, and now kind of in my, approaching my twilight years, I have been a sugar addict all my life. I mean, I started with, you know, candy bars and donuts and cakes and and I just, I'm a sugaraholic. And then, of course, later in life, I learned that I could drink my sugar. You know, single malt scotch, glenfiddich, anyone. And um, and other things, uh, G&T, I used to be a big G&T person, loved, loved those. But, um, but I, I, I recognized that when I wasn't drinking, you know, I was either eating something sweet, you know. But, and then, even in, even in the last year and a half to two years that I've been really, you know, losing weight and getting in shape, um, you know, you, you think, well, okay, you're, you're eating healthy right now. When that's absolutely true. But, but, It'll come as no surprise to most of you that, you know, the other thing that I went to, even though it was healthy, was fruit. Just, I just love fruit. And there's nothing wrong with fruit, you know, but again, it is, it is sugar. Fructose, of course. So, the bottom line was that um, even now, in the last two and a half, three weeks, I'm on a special new eating plan that pretty much has eliminated fruit. And it's no surprise that I've lost another seven or eight pounds. Uh, and so it's like, okay, now, yeah, that's right. That sugar just goes right into, you know, the spikes, the old insulin, the insulin shoves it right into your old fat stores. And guess what? You know, now you burn a lot of it, you know, if you're exercising and doing things like CrossFit and running and walking five, six miles a day, yeah, you're going to burn a lot of that, but still a lot of it's going to be stored as fat. So what I guess I'm trying to get at is that but, but, but even in the CrossFit community and even professional bodybuilders and weightlifters and even athletes, real athletes, um, 
you know, uh, and again, I'm not, I'm not here to put anybody down or, you know, say, oh man, you guys are hypocrites. I, that's, that's not what I'm trying to say at all. So if you, please don't hear me, you know, hating on somebody or, or calling somebody out or that, that that's not it. But even, even in uh, my CrossFit community, you know, I know guys and gals, when it's time to party, they're gonna, they're gonna drink. I'm not saying they're gonna be drinking irresponsibly, but they're gonna drink. And, and I and I believe now that I, I don't drink um, and because it's just I, I know well one I can't handle it and two it's just liquid sugar it is true empty calories but again those people uh, in that community and some of them do not not everyone but you know they'll be drinking I think they like to drink vodka or gin or some of the quote-unquote less calorically dense alcohols <laughs> no beer you know but anyway so you know again it's it's about enjoying life um it's not about you know uh condemning yourself to devil's island and you know and trying to do uh, penance forever and ever amen but again i think life is meant to be enjoyed in moderation um so Parola and anyone else who's listening and you find uh, contentment and, 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 and uh, calming and, and uh, serenity and a sense of peacefulness comes over you when you smoke a pipe, uh, you know, God bless you, I say, you know. I think there certainly are worse things that you can do to your body than puffing on a pipe. Um, I'm not saying, you know, that it's uh, without its risks. But I, and I'm sure you can find some uh, information on, on YouTube and uh, the internet, people, you know, dying of horrible cancer, maybe by pipe smoking or a combination of pipe smoking and cigarette smoking. But I don't see huge numbers of people, you know, keeling over from, you know, puffing on a pipe occasionally. I just don't see that. And there's been a lot of our other uh, brethren and sisterin, sisterin, uh, who have uh, talked about it. This whole concept of um, pipe smoking is actually can be maybe even uh, have some quote unquote health benefits because of the <coughs> calming <coughs> Uh, here I am coughing up a lung here. I, yeah, it's real healthy. <laughs> Actually, what it was is a little piece of tobacco. You know, again, some of that chunk tobacco from uh, Silum's Red. Mm. Mm. Yes, indeed, folks. Yes, indeed. So, here I am. It's been a, a good day. I've uh, been blessed. Uh, got an iPhone 6. Smoking a, a pipe with some iced pipe, pipe tobacco. And I'm sharing the moment with you all. So thank you for your kind attention. And we'll be talking to you soon. I'm going to be hopefully uploading this sometime this weekend and sharing with you my new little toys and, uh, and treasures. So I hope you're having a great weekend wherever you're at, and we will see you soon. Take care.